Hello everyone. I'm back. Um, so today I'm going to talk about, um, you guys like my jacket? It's the same jacket that I wore in the Rude Boy video. And a lot of people wanted to know where what kind of jacket it was. I got this jacket. Well, it's a, yeah, it's a jacket. It's like wool or whatever. It's really warm. Um, and the buttons come out right here. See, so it just basically goes all the way down. But anyway, um, I got it from Forever 21. So if you like the jacket, you can go to Forever 21 and get it. They go all the way to extra large. So uh, anyway... Today I want to talk about disrespect to one another, but I also I really want to get to it in the um the LGBT community, basically meaning lesbian, gay, transgender, bisexual, whatever. Um, and I'm gonna speak on a bisexual thing too as well. Um, but first, I mean, but primarily I want to say this before I say anything. I get called everything in a book, you know transvestite, she male, whatever. And that's because people don't know me. And that's because of lack there of knowledge. Knowledge is very much power. And when you don't have knowledge of something and you say ignorant things, you look ignorant. I never get upset. I wrote a blog about this on dollfacebarbie.com and I never get upset about this because I know who I am. And there's nothing that you can do or say about me that will have me believe otherwise or what I'm doing is wrong. But I also understand and realize there are a lot of young kids who watch my videos that may be contemplating switching genders and there's nothing wrong with that because if you don't feel right on the inside then by all means do whatever feels good for you. I respect people like Happy Feet on YouTube. I respect people like B. Scott. I respect people who are willing to do whatever they want. I respect T.S. Chanel. You know um, I have a subscriber named um, T.S. Yes, Octavia, who always hits me up and shows me love. And I never discriminate because I love everybody. <laughs> and um, society has a bad tendency. And some of us as well in our community have a tendency to look at drag queens, look at um, transsexuals, look at people like that and feel like, ugh, like, why? Why? And it's just like, why? If somebody wants to do something that makes them feel good, what's wrong with that? Because you don't agree with it, that's not their problem. But you shouldn't. Because how I feel, you're being a hypocrite. And I will be the first to say it, before I even get into anything else. I want to say that I didn't understand the whole bisexual thing. I didn't. I asked for somebody to explain it to me. Somebody explained it to me. And I'm sorry, I forget, who, forget your name, but she did a response video to my video about the hating girls. And you can guys can go watch that. But basically she just summed it up and said, just like you're attracted to men, I'm attracted to men and women. I can't, I can't really pick and choose which one I feel stronger for because it's the same. So it's like, I mean, I can't be mad at that. So thank you for making that video and thank you for letting me understand it the way she did it because she was she wasn't saying I like one because I always had the preconceived notion that you like one but you just mess around with the other one, which is not the case. And that's because I didn't have knowledge of it because I'm not bisexual. I don't know and I don't really have too many bisexual friends. So you know what I'm saying? I don't know. But she explained it to me. So if you see somebody on the street and you don't know if it's a boy or a girl, don't be disrespectful this never happened to me well it hasn't happened to me before but i've seen it happen to people or i hear people whispering to other people about a certain person or whatever and they'd be like oh wait, i don't know if that's a girl or a boy what is the world coming to you know just smart comments me and willie got into an argument with this dude at the dmv about that because he had something to say about me and it was just like okay well what's your point you make yourself look stupid because you don't know who i am you feel me so it's just like it's funny how people ask me in all my videos, are you a guy, are you a girl? Honey, my Adam's apple is very much prominent and I don't have any breast. So if you can't simply use your eyes to understand who I am, I don't know what to tell you. I'm what you call androgynous. Androgynous is basically a man or a woman who has the characteristics of both sex. So I can pretty much it's like being a chameleon. You feel me? I could look like a guy if I really, 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 really tried and grow some facial hair. But if I go outside with like this on and I take this off and like put on a hoodie and pull this beanie all the way down, people will be like, what's up, homegirl? 
I can't help the way I look. You feel me? I can't. My jawline is pretty defined, like a guy. Um, but if I didn't have this jaw, <clears throat> I would look like a girl. And even with the jaw, people still think I look. I'm a girl. You know, I can't change that. But androgynous is what you will call me. I never wanted to be a woman. I always like to be who I am because it makes me different from everybody else. That's something that you can't buy. That's something that you can't change. People that are androgynous, we have a, we have fun with everything. You know, I don't have to say, well, I want this or I want that or I want to wear this. I can wear whatever the hell I want and get away with it because the way I look. You know, uh, pe other people who are androgynous, Kristen Stewart from Twilight. If you guys watch her in Panic Room, she looks like a little boy. I didn't know she was a boy until, until Jody Foster said my daughter. So, it, it depends on the person, you know, but just because you're not knowledgeable of something or someone, don't look down on them because it makes you look stupid. I don't want to look stupid. You don't want to look stupid. So, do your research. You know what I'm saying? Just, just respect another person for being who they are. I don't disrespect nobody for who they are because that's you. There's a lot of people that I may not agree with, but I'm not going to disrespect you and make you feel less of a person or try at least to make you feel less of a person because of what I don't understand. You know, things that are new are scary to people. Things that are new, people just don't want to be a part of because tradition is always the easy way out. Well, tradition doesn't last forever and there are so many different people that are going to come after me and everybody else that are going to be super duper different that you're going to have to do it. So, to all the people who talk greasy about gays, lesbians, the, anybody in the LGBT community, anybody in general, grow up. That's all I have to say is grow up because you are making it hard for other people in this world for no apparent reason because of your ignorance. And to the parents who are watching and the young kids that are watching, if you are in school or you have children in school, you do not let your children disrespect another child because they're different. Whether they're medically, they have a medical issue, whether they look different, whether their hair is shorter than whoever's, do not, don't disrespect nobody. Because to call another child a faggot or anything on the playground is unacceptable. And if you feel like that's okay for your children to do, your child is, is doomed. Because they're not going to grow up and understand different people. My mother, when me and my sister, she put us in all types of different schools. Because and with all types of different people, we had a mixed school. I never went to an all-black school or all-white school. We went to a mixed school because I, she wanted us to understand that there are not all black people. There are not all white people. Korean. There are, we're a mix. We all live. We're the same damn species with different color. You know what they say? I'm a beat you to the white meat. You feel me? We're all the same in the inside. So, don't discriminate people. It's, it's just, it's ugly, it's nasty, it's not cute, it's not, it's not needed. You know, we're all here for a reason. So let's do what we got to do and keep it pushing. But all this discrimination and all this madness and all this, you know, I don't know what to tell you. Because it, it's, it's sick, it makes me sick. And also, one thing too I wanted to address, somebody left a comment on, well, a couple of folks left a comment on the video I did about the D.O. man and said, why would you make a video like this discriminate, discriminating against D.O. man? How do you feel about that? Like, that's not fair to you. You're blocking your blessings by doing this. I'm not blocking my blessings, honey, because my blessings are between me and the Lord. No one else. Second, if my blessings were going to be blocked, it would not be for warning women of men who are not in their best interest. I didn't say anything. If you like a D.O. man and you want to sleep with one, that's by all means. You do that. But I'm one of the women who don't know. Who don't have, they don't have no knowledge of this situation. If I could save a life by simply outing someone who doesn't care about their own and they're willing to take another one because they're just that mean of a person and they don't care, then I'm good. Because I'd rather you know than not know. You feel me? So if you want to go off and sleep with these men who are willing to do whatever to you, that's fine by you. But don't come to my videos making dumbass comments because you made yourself look stupid. I'm not mad. I just want you to know that I see you and I feel you. You feel me? Alright. How much time I got left? Really? I got through that quick. So, okay, well in that case, well let me touch back on this and the reason why I brought it up. is because, um... They base this this video is about disrespect. 
I don't feel like I disrespected anybody in that video because I basically told the truth. The truth hurts. You feel me? So, if you got upset by something that I said because I told the truth, I don't know what to tell you, you know? You got to keep, you got to take that up with you and the Lord, you know? But I just don't want to see no girls get hurt over dumb decisions. You know, I, wanted, I want you to have knowledge of what's going on with you and your partner. That's all. And with that said, bye you guys.